How you doing everybody? Ron Coin here. Welcome back to my channel. There is an article that was recently published in Realtor.com and I wanted to share it with you guys. Everybody's speaking recently about the fact if you should buy a house or you should wait in 2022 because mortgage rates are rising. There is no inventory on the market. Bidding wars going on on every single house out there. So let's say you've decided to wait to see what's going on with the interest rates and maybe to rent in between. I have a news for you guys. Even to find the rental, it's not going to be easy. And apparently it is becoming extremely, extremely unaffordable and very expensive. Let's read the article. The median rent in country's 50 biggest metropolitan areas soared 16.7% annually to hit new high of $1,827 in April, according to the recent Realtor.com article. In fact, that price point is the highest in the U.S. since we began tracking rental prices. According to what we just read, the median rent price went up 16.7% in the last year, and now it's a high record of $1,827 median rent price per month. If you get any value from this content, please hit the like button and subscribe so you will not miss when we drop another video. Let's keep reading the article. If price growth rates continue at about the same level, median national rents will break $2,000 per month, sometimes this summer. Let's dig into that a little more. What are the reasons for the increase in the rent prices? So the reason number one, pandemic slowdown, construction, especially big rental building. There is really short in construction materials and every project taking more than expected. So big buildings that were planning to hit the market this year are not ready. So there is shortage of inventory on apartments for rent, houses for rent, big projects that were supposed to be up for rent. Reason number two, why rent prices is going up, the rising home prices and mortgage rates prevent a lot of people of buying because they cannot afford it. So most rented end up extending their leases or either if you cannot afford buying, you're going to look for a new rental. So there are lots of people out there on the rental market looking for a house, looking for an apartment, but there is no inventory. Reason number three, investors buy high, so they rent it for high. I'm going to share with you an example. One of my investors recently purchased a house in order to rent it out. Investors are looking for returns. So it depends on where are the mar which market you are located in. You know, investors are looking to get four, five, six percent of their money. So when you purchase for high, you have to rent it for high in order to make the return. So overall, I can tell you that this house was on the market three and a half years ago, maybe for $3,000. Now we put it on the market for $3,500. We got multiple applications. It was a bidding war and we had to choose obviously the best candidate, but we ended up renting the house for $4,000. $4,000, that will generate my investor around the 5%. So when you buy high, you have to rent for high. It doesn't matter what you buy. You buy a multifamily, you buy a building. When you buy high, you have to rent for high because at the end, you have to get your return as an investor. That's what's causing the rent prices goes up, especially in a big buildings. Reason number four, even if the buyers can afford to buy a house in today's prices and they can afford the high mortgage rates, there is no inventory in the market. So I have lots of buyers out there that say, listen, Ron, if you're not going to find a house in the next month, we're going to have to rent because we want to move before school start. So that's adding to the market more potential renters. And when there is no inventory, supply and demand, a lot of renters, no houses, prices will go up. And don't forget, yeah, it's a rental market. There is bidding wars also in rental markets, multiple applications on all the houses. And I do have a couple of renters that actually rented a house site on scene. As soon as it came to the market, they told me this and run, go submit the application. We don't care. We need to move. There's one more article I wanted to share with you guys. This article was published on apartmentlease.com regarding the median rent price in the U.S. Let's read it. Growth has cooled down substantially from the last summer's peak. 
but the total increase in 2022 to date is still pacing ahead of the pre-pandemic normal for this time of the year. From January through April this year, rents nationally are up by a total of 2.5% compared to 3.9% growth in the first four months of 2021 over the same month as of 2018 and 2019, rents grew up by 1.9% and 1.6% respectively. So as we can see here, the growth in the median rent price for the past four months has went up 2.5%, which is much higher than 2018 and 2019 that had 1.9% and 1.6%. Also remember, the rental prices always go up during the summer and cooling down in the winter. So yes, it's maybe less growth than 2021. However, don't forget, it's a growth of a growth of a growth of a growth. So the prices did went up. Less of a growth compared to 2021, but the prices, the medium rent price went up a lot. So now let's go back to the article from Realtor.com and see what are the states that the median rent price went up the most in the US. Florida continues to lead the way as the top three metros in year over year rent growth continue to be Miami at 51.3%, Orlando at 32.9%, and Tampa at 27.8%. Miami lead the US with an increase of 51.3% year over year in the median rent price. Orlando is second, 32.9 increase year over year, and Tampa with 27.8 increase year over year. Let's keep reading. There are some signs that the surging rental markets will level off with more rentals coming online and price cuts being seen on for sale listings that are moving less rapidly than during the post pandemic peak. It's possible rents will go down as well. So I don't really agree with this statement. I think many buyers out there will become renters. So obviously more renters on the market. Many renters cannot find homes to buy. So they will stay and they will extend their lease and many projects are not gonna be done by the summertime. So yeah, maybe it will cool off, but it will cool off after the summertime. After the summertime, this summertime, it's gonna be crazy on the rental market as well. So I'm sorry guys, no good news. Uh, not for the renters, not for the buyers. Um, I do see a couple of uh, price reductions here in my area. So hopefully um, uh, inventory uh, will hit the market as far as rentals, as far as uh, buying. Uh, we're gonna have to keep following up on the interest rates. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.